everybody welcome back to another vlog it is a wednesday when i'm filming this which means that i haven't vlogged in i think like almost two weeks or something like that <sighs> your girl's been going through it full disclosure i am like a highly sensitive person i am just easily affected by things in life and sometimes i feel like i need to disclaim that on the internet because some people get upset and they think that it's like me complaining all the time or whatever it is but um i'm just being real i'm just letting you know what's going on with my life and i have been going through it the last couple of weeks i use humor to cope so like being fully honest um me putting on a smile right now and being like hi hello is very much just like me trying to fake it until i make it and i've kind of mentioned that in the past in like some recent vlogs um it's just been a rough few months really and on top of that um here let me set you down this lunch because like we're gonna have we're gonna have a little chat can you see the pile of clothes in the background no you cannot okay that's that's all right <sighs> so anyway um yeah i have had i don't even know where to begin i've had a phobia since i was little and i probably first developed this phobia when i was like maybe six or seven years old and it's called emetophobia it is the fear of vomiting, vomit, people getting sick, myself getting sick. Mine is more so like a stomach bug that I can catch or food poisoning or whatever. And that has manifested itself in like a lot of different ways throughout my life, um, according to the doctors that I've seen throughout my life, such as like OCD traits and tendencies, um, anxiety, you know, really having like panic attacks in public because I'm afraid of like losing control and X, Y, and Z happening to me throughout my life. I also wanna disclaim that I am gonna be talking about emetophobia in this video, not in great detail or anything, but um, if it is triggering to you, totally understand maybe watch a different video but yeah i have um i've really had it since yeah i was a little girl and it it really um was tough i mean i wish my mom was here because she could vouch for me that it was a rough go during my childhood it really controlled a lot of my life it was um like a traumatic experience that had actually every time i got sick as a kid it was a traumatic experience like i would like choke or i couldn't breathe or i would have a panic attack or whatever it was and i didn't know what was happening at the time because i was so little and so i would like cry every single night i would dread nighttime you know go cry to my mom before i fell asleep telling her that i was afraid i was gonna get sick and like all this different stuff and it it was just really hard it, it made me go home from sleepovers the second someone was like oh my stomach hurts i was like ah! i would start crying and like need to go home especially with like the ocd thing um i I didn't even know it at the time but as a kid I was developing like these compulsions and these obsessions that had to do with avoiding getting sick so like in my mind it was like okay I'm never gonna eat that food again I'm never gonna wear that outfit again I'm never gonna go to that place again you know and things like that that I thought were protecting me it's kind of like waxed and waned throughout different times in my life like sometimes it's more severe sometimes it's less severe but it is always there and I would say over the last probably like since I've entered my 30s I felt like I got to a really good place I you know don't really get sick that often and so I think I just like developed maybe like a distance from it and so I just was like less afraid but I've always been just like super ultra paranoid with like what I eat compulsively checking expiration dates on things like if you have a metaphobia you get it I don't need to explain it but it sounds yeah, it sounds a little unhinged to someone who hasn't experienced it and you know pretty much my entire life up until i was on the internet people that i encountered in real life that i told i had it would like kind of laugh or they'd be like i love getting sick i feel so much better afterwards and it was just like i would rather die <laughs> like what are you talking about and i don't know how to describe how much it's had its claws in me throughout my life and how much it's affected so much of who I am and how I operate and my anxiety and all sorts of different things. And I don't just mean anxiety like in the loose term that people use to describe it. I'm talking like waking up in the middle of the night with debilitating panic attacks thinking I'm dying. I would say like, yeah, in my 30s, it had kind of gotten a little bit better. I felt like I was, you know, a little bit more removed and I felt like I was able to just kind of operate in my day-to-day -day life a lot better. And then, um, a couple days after the party that we had over here which was amazing by the way it went off so so well and drew's mom was so surprised and it was like such a great time um but shortly after that people just started falling one by one and i don't know if it was something that was served at the party i don't know if it was like a bug that was going around but pretty much like 24 hours after the party i was like 
very very ill and i haven't had that happen where i like fell asleep and then woke up in the middle of the night sick um in so so long and i don't want to upset anyone who has the same phobia and it sounds like so silly when i'm talking about it it's like there are real problems in the world but it was i'm laughing about it now because i am i'm truly dissociating um it was traumatic like it was the absolute worst case scenario you could imagine if you have a metaphobia and i won't go into any more details because like i really don't want to upset anyone but it was it was so triggering for me and it immediately like brought me back to being a kid like i felt like i was a kid again and i was having to like gentle parent myself while i was like sitting on the bathroom floor and it was horrible um i'm getting like sweaty palms just talking about it and you know thank god for drew he was just so sweet and kind and it doesn't bother him at all like you know the thing that i'm phobic of also just like he's not ever worried about like if you know i get him sick or anything like that he never got it um it was really only like maybe four of us that got sick but anyways um yeah it it was it was rough and i feel like i've been feeling the ripple effects of that since then and like how i don't know now i feel like i'm going back to those old things that I used to do when I was younger like I'm, I'm afraid to sleep on the same sheets I'm afraid to wear the same pajamas I'm afraid to eat x y and z I was afraid to honestly like without triggering anyone too much I was afraid to like eat for a few days um and I think that I have become an expert at like camouflaging myself and putting on like a fake smile when it comes to different things because like several days after you know after I was better and stuff and Drew hadn't gotten sick um, we took a trip to Big Bear with our friends and we had told them what was going on we actually ended up missing the first day just to be like 100% sure um, and they were like no please come like so you know they were fine with it and no one ever got sick it was I think it was food poisoning now that I'm like looking back at it you guys saw a little bit of that at the beginning of this video um but i felt so in my head in that trip i was having such a hard time with like anxiety i haven't really had much anxiety like panicky feeling since i quit drinking caffeine like maybe 11 years ago or so i'll probably talk about that in a future vlog but it changed my life it really changed the way that i operate and it it cured so much of my anxiety but this was just really hard and it felt i felt so powerless and i felt so afraid and i don't know how to describe the dread that comes along with a phobia but it's just that's the only word i can use is like dread it's just fear it's like the deepest seated fear you could ever imagine and so to have all of this stuff come back up again has been really yucky <laughs> for lack of a better word and i've just really been struggling with it all and the reason I'm even talking about this is because I posted like a quick little thing on my Instagram stories that was like, hey, sorry, I've been MIA. This is like what's been going on, da, 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 da. And I got so many replies and DMs of people being like, oh my God, I have the same phobia. I feel insane. No one else in my life gets it. No one gets me. I've just been kind of like since then, um going through a bit of a depression i'm not gonna lie because like i had this like wave of anxiety i was feeling super anxious for a few days and then i was like getting in my head and being like i can't believe you're 36 and you're still dealing with this like really heavily judging myself and then feeling like crap about myself and then like i've kind of slipped down into a depression over the last like three or so days and um i just kind of want to be honest about that because i'm just a sensitive girl and the world and people's emotions and people being mad at me and just everything sensory things smells sights etc everything is like too much for me at all times and so when you compound all of that together and then add like your deepest worst fear on top of it and just like kind of the after effects of that it's been tough it's been really tough so I don't want this to be like the entire vlog but i do just want to talk about it because like i said like so many of you i know are going through the same thing and i've heard other people that i follow online talk about emetophobia before and i have felt more seen than i ever have in my entire life so i kind of just like wanted to just i was gonna say word and then the other word but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go there word v um i don't i just i just wanted to like spill um and just let you know that you're not alone if you're going through these things you are truly not alone and this has been the worst that my mental health has been since probably like my late 20s and it's okay i guess like it's just part of life and it's just what you go through but full disclosure like i'm wearing practically pajamas right now but 
luckily I've been showering and brushing my teeth, but other than that, I haven't been getting out of bed other than to like eat. I've been letting emails go unread. I've been letting texts go unanswered and I've just not been good. I've been really, really in like a slump. And so this is an effort to just basically peel myself out of my bed, um, try to show up, try to like, you know, be brave and put on a happy face and just be like, yeah, you know what? I'm not great at the moment, but I'm going to try to get through it because that's life. You kind of just have to keep, keep it pushing. So that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I just kind of wanted to do like a little video journal instead of writing it out <laughs> on pen and paper. I just thought maybe I would share it so that those of you who are going through the same thing can feel a little bit seen. Anyway, I'm just gonna talk in circles, so. Hello, <laughs> thanks for joining me on this vlog, but honestly, I was gonna say, wow, what a start. But um, it's just real life, that is that is what it is. I don't know how to do this without like the nervous laughter, so I apologize. Like I genuinely don't know how to be like serious and, and be like, oh, this is what's happening. Um, I should probably work on that. Is that a Capricorn trait? I don't know, let me know eldest sister not sure we're we're doing it we're being vulnerable we're sharing the ups and the downs throughout life so thanks for being here for those and um we'll catch up later but i already feel better just kind of getting up getting out of bed throwing a little bit of makeup on and trying to just show up that's all you can do you just show up and put one foot in front of the other so i'm sending so much love to those of you who also have this same phobia and who are struggling you are not alone you are not crazy you are not crazy even though it feels like it sometimes the absence of logic is wild with a phobia like you know in your logical part of your brain like this is this is a little insane this is a little unhinged but you can't help it you have that other like phobic side of your brain and there's just nothing you can do about it. So I'm here for you. And yeah, I'm just sending you so much love, but we'll catch up later. Good morning. It is the next morning and I just woke up if you weren't able to tell. Well, I didn't just wake up. I just got out of bed. And I felt like today is gonna be the day. Yesterday was good. Yesterday was a baby step. I think we're gonna go full send on this reset today. So like I need to get back into my workouts. I need to wash my hair. I need to do an everything shower, you know, all that good stuff. So I think, we're gonna try to do that today. I think it's gonna help us feel better and just feel like, I don't know, more human after a slump. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little scalp treatment. This is the Ceremonia Heritage Scalp Remedy Oil. This smells phenomenal. It smells so, so good. I have scalp issues. I've heard some, like one doctor said that it could be related to having SIBO. Like I started getting a really itchy scalp. I don't know, or it could just be life so i'm just gonna do a little bit of scalp oil i'm gonna do this before i do my workout because like why not and just kind of let it soak in while i'm working out or maybe i'll sweat it off onto my face who actually knows that already feels incredible i'm just gonna massage it in it feels so lovely my scalp is kind of like one of those things that i'm like slightly insecure about but i know it's like completely normal to have like a dry itchy scalp it just i don't know it's like a source of a lot of embarrassment for me and it's just part of being a human i don't know i just never had scalp issues until like my 30s which is weird lovely okay so now i'm gonna obviously fix my hair so i'm looking like martha washington right now smells so good i feel like someone mentioned at some point that maybe they have a candle in this set if they do i need to look into that because it's delish let's fix this ponytail we're gonna get a cute little workout set on because as much as like i think time to just sit and rot in bed or on the couch or whatever is vital at least for me i also think like life isn't gonna get better by just sitting in bed all the time so i've gotta gotta get up and make it happen. I am not looking forward to how hard this workout is gonna be because I've like taken a little break and like you lose all your endurance, it sucks. Okay, let's do a lovely little set. Now I do have my cute new leggings that I got from Lululemon, but I haven't shaved my legs in a couple days and it's like a sensory nightmare for me. So we're just gonna go bike shorts, sports bra, and there we go. All right, we're good to go. I actually like mostly work out barefoot. I don't know why, it's just what I do. I started doing Grow With Joe videos 
then I saw that she would always do her workouts barefoot so then I just would stop putting on my shoes because like I'm in my house and now it's just what I do but it's kind of weird okay we're good we got the, the sweat catcher on we're gonna jump into our workout and hopefully feel much better afterwards the workout I'm gonna wash my hair I'm feeling glad that I did it but I will say I only had about 50 to 60 percent energy today and that's okay like I see so much stuff about how if you're showing up and you only have like 50 or 60 percent to give and you give that then you're giving a hundred percent does that make sense I know a lot of people are like very hardcore about their workouts and I'm just all about like moving because it feels good and so the fact that I modified my workout a little bit but still got it done makes me happy and I feel proud so my tub is dripping how long has that been happening anyway now we're gonna I'm doing a little bit of filming today so I'm gonna be like intermittent in this vlog but I'm gonna put on a cute outfit I'm gonna put on an outfit that like makes me feel cute makes me feel confident I'm gonna get a little dressed up I'm gonna wear jeans in my house which I don't do that often but those jeans are really comfy I think it's also gonna help so we're gonna like scrub this head to toe <laughs> I'm gonna try a new hairstyle today that I'm gonna show in a main channel video I'm gonna try like a TikTok viral thing that I saw and hopefully we're gonna keep on feeling better got my green smoothie getting some greens in you know Things are looking up. All right, the plan's been slightly derailed because this top is too big for me. I ordered a size too big, I'm so sad because this is just such a cute little outfit, but I will order the correct size in this top and we will pivot. What we will pivot to, I'm not 100% sure because this was my plan all along was to wear this outfit, but that's okay. In life, you gotta roll with the punches. I wanna wear something similar, but I don't really have anything similar. I'm so sad. Ugh. Hello, it's actually much later. I completely forgot about this vlog because I was filming. Oh my God, there is so much sand in this tripod still from when I went to Laguna with Alexa. But anyways, this is what I ended up with for the outfit. It's been hours. I've been wearing it a while. This top is from Abercrombie, and then these jeans are the baggy dad jeans from Levi's. These are the smallest plus size they have though, and they're way too big, and their largest straight size is too small for me. So what can you do? But these are just like a nice around the house jeans. Never in my life have I like wanted to lounge around in jeans until I got these. So we're feeling cute. This charm necklace I think is from Target. And I'm just wearing my usual gold chunky hoops. I need to now finish the video that I was just filming. I need to do like an intro, outro, that type of thing. And then film another sit down video, which is just a chatty one. So that'll be easy. And then do some computer work for the rest of the day. But I'm feeling much better. I am, dare I say, starting to feel normal again. And I always do this. This has been a struggle of mine, like for as long as I can remember. But when I am in a funk, I don't want to do anything. And then the more I don't do anything, the worse I feel. But I feel like my body is telling me like, no, you need to rest, you need to do nothing. And then when I do nothing, it, it makes me feel worse. And I just simply always feel better when I get back into my routine. You know, I do my workout, I get back into work, you know, start filming, whatever. I always feel better. And it's like, I need to remind myself of that and also be gentle with myself and rest when I need to. But um, yeah, I'm starting to feel more like me again, so that feels good. Okay, we'll check in later. It is like a couple days later. It seems like I have never left this bathroom, but I have in fact left this bathroom many times. It's been a busy couple days. So um, got my nails done today. As you saw, I did like a navy blue. I think that'll be really fun for fall. I need to like exfoliate and fake tan um, because I am going out of town tomorrow. We're leaving at like 
6 a.m. at the latest, so we need to go to bed soon. But we just finished um, watching Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice with the family. We found out you can rent it on Amazon Prime. We were actually gonna see it in the movie theater. So it was Drew, me, his mom, his sister, and her two daughters. And so we all watched it over here instead because why pay like 20 bucks each to go to the movie theater when you can pay like 20 bucks and watch it all at home. So we did that, it was great. It was okay. I mean, I wasn't like obsessed with it, but I also appreciated it and the nostalgia of it all. So anyways, oh, also I meant to open this in a vlog and then I just like kind of got sidetracked and just opened it anyways. But Drew and I just got these things on Amazon that truly are like so amazing. They're four bottles that have pumps and you like screw off the pump and put on this nozzle instead. Hold on, I'll show you. I'm not good at explaining. So like both of these used to have pumps on them and like I'll show you for an example. This EOS lotion like comes with a pump and it's amazing but once it gets down to like here you don't really get access to the product anymore and it's like I've had to like cut open bottles before and like scrape it out and that's just like not the vibe. So you get these things which Amazon says that this is a small business on there. I guess small business owners can like sell their products on Amazon which is cool but um it's essentially like hold on I'll show you. Well can I? It's on there kind of tight but basically it comes with these little like upside down tripod thingies and then it's just like a squeeze bottle. So when you want to use lotion instead of using the pump you just use the squeeze bottle and then it just sits like that. Like look at that. That is freaking incredible. I'm like so obsessed with that and we always run into that issue with Oga with these like Dove things. Um, these like Dove body washes which this was in the shower so it's wet but the pump like really doesn't get you very far and it's really annoying and so now with this you just open it and then you can use up the rest of the bottle and like don't waste any product it's so freaking cool let's see i think these are called flip it it says on the side here i'll link them down below in case you're interested but it comes with like a bunch of different um like sizes for different bottles so this is like a really large opening like mouth opening for the bottle and it just has like little adapters so like i think this one was the size large and then this one was like small or extra small or something and it fits both of these so couldn't recommend them enough honestly even drew today when he took a shower he was like that thing really works i was like i know kind of crazy so anyway that's pretty much gonna do it for this vlog i am like all packed up somehow miraculously my niece also helped me pack so shout out to her thank you thank you to all of you who were so sweet about hearing her in the background of my last vlog as well like she loves that she loves that so we appreciate it i love my nieces so much they're both amazing and so special to me so anyway okay i'm gonna stop talking girl turn off the camera Oh my god. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for hanging out and we will see you very soon. Bye!